Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Virtual Learning Hub and I am Devdi Bhattacharya and today we will understand what is earning price ratio method and we will calculate cost of equity by earning price ratio method. So the price to earning ratio is one of the most widely used metrics for investors as is determined the stock valuation. In addition to showing whether a company's stock price is overvalued or undervalued, the price earning can reveal how a stock's valuation compared to its industry group. The PE ratio helps investors determine the market value of a stock as compared to the company's earnings. In short, the PE shows what the market is willing to pay today for a stock based on its past or future earnings. A high PE ratio could mean that the stock's price is high relative to earnings and this is going to be overvalued. So as a low PE might indicate that the current stock price is low relative to the earnings. You can show the screen and you can make a screenshot on it. So what this said is, if we are going to invest in the stock as in share market, we need to judge the PE ratio. Comparing to the PE ratio, we can understand the earning per share and the price of the share. Also, we can assume the future growth of the company and depending on the growth, we can invest to that particular share. So this is the concept basically. We will understand it with a small example. Now is there is three different year as year 1, year 2 and year 3. The EPS as earning per share is for year 1 is rupees 10 and for year 2 is rupees 11 for year 3 rupees 12. The price is for year 1 the price per share is 100 and for year 2 is 110 and for year 3 is 120 and what is the PE ratio? PE ratio is the price per share by earning per share. So in a particular share price how the share is earned which is called the price earning ratio depending on the price the return for that share so 100 by 10 which is 10 and this is also 10 and this is also 10 so we can see there is no growth for the price ratio and if you take another example year 1 year 2 and year 3 This is for company A and this is for company B. They belong from a same industry. If, if this is a, a medicine company, this is a medicine industry, this company is also from a medicine industry. They belong from a same industry. Here the earning per share is rupees 10 then which is 20 and then which is 40 the price is 150 and 500 and then which is 1600 the price earning ratio will be this by this 15 and this by this which is 25 and this is 40 if you come 
if you compare the company A and com company B, you can understand how the little value of the earning per share is increasing as 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Comparing to these earning per share, the price per share, the price of the share is also increasing with a small value as 10, both for 10. And in price earning ratio, there is no changes. So the earning is same for year 1, 2 and 3, but the earning per share and price are little bit of change. Now for company B, the earning per share is changing into double as 10 into 220, 20 into 240, how the rate is increasing to 10 and 20 is double double increasing. So into 2 increasing and the price of the share is also increasing much high comparing to the previous company as 115 to 5000 to 1600 and the price earning ratio is also is also growing equally with comparing to the price and earning per share but comparing to price and earning per share the earning is much high the price earning is much high as 15 to 25 to 40 here increasing 10 and here is 15 you can see how maximize the price earning so so the problem is a person should invest in which of those company if the capacity of the person is is not so high is simple he or she need to invest in company a but but here is the higher return the price earning ratio is much high and the earning per share is going to high and the price is so expensive the price is so expensive and the return is expensive the price earning is much expensive so this is the concept actually we will understand it with a small numeric So here, Bico LTD has 20,000 equity share each of 10 rupees and the current market price is 15, is 50, is 50, earning available for the amount of 50,000. We need to calculate cost of equity share, uh, cost of equity share capital by applying earning price ratio method. So under earning price ratio method we know that the cost of equity capital as ke is is the formula earning by price per share so earning by price per share this is the formula so the ke which is cost of capital is e by p which is earning per share by price per share the market price per share what is the earning per share the earning per share as e is it is the total earning 50000 divided by 20000 as the number of share is 20000 so total earning is 50,000 so the earning per share is 2.5 and the current market price which is P is 50 per share so KE is earning per share which is 2.5 by 50 which is 0 0.05 as 5% so I'm going to end today's topic for that video.
in the next video we will understand what is capital asset pricing method and we will calculate cost of equity by asset pricing method